सो हैवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर टॉप फाइव विंडोज कमेंट्स दैट यू मस्ट नो इफ यू आर अ विंडोज यूजर सो यू माइट बी वेरी क्यूरियस वॉट आर दोज कमेंट्स एंड हाउ यू विल गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट राइट सो वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड यू विल गेट टू नो वॉट आर दोज कमेंट्स एंड हाउ यू विल गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दोज कमेंट्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग फर्दर मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट so to use those commands we have to use command prompt so write cmd and right click on it and run as administrator so it's really important to run this command prompt as administration mode so the first command is ipconfig so this command display information about your computer's network let's say you can use it to find your ip address subnet mask and default gateway and so on so this command is really helpful if you don't know your ip address that you got from your internet service provider now the next command is task list this command display a list of all running process on your computer along with their process id memory usage and other details you can have a rough idea which process is currently running and how much memory it allocate now move to the next one that is netstat this command display information about your computer network connections you can use it to find out which ports are open and which programs are using them So let's say I just open Google Chrome. So my computer send packets to Google server. So in this way, the local address would be this, and the foreign key address would be Google server address, and the state would be established if already connected. So in this way, you can have idea which port is currently is connected and what are its states. Is is it established or is it closed? You can have a rough idea about it. And if there is any suspicious packet is sent to unknown destination address, then you can work accordingly. So move to the next command that is chk dsk. This command. check your computer hardware drive for error and fix them if possible it's a good command to run if you are experiencing problem with your computer so such as slow performance or corrupted files it resolve your problem at the maximum level so move to the last one that is sfc slash scan now so this command checks your computer system file for corruption and repair them if necessary so if you are experiencing problem with your computer such as crash or error messages running this command may help to fix them and it will resolve your problem at the maximum level so it's really a helpful command for user who is getting stuck or getting error messages in their windows operating system so it is a very helpful command if you are experiencing any error message regarding your computer system files so it's help you to manage and fix those errors so that's it for this video if this video is really helpful for you so don't forget to give it a like and if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss an important update like this in the future videos so i will see you in the next one until then bye bye